lecturers, myself Dr. Bupinder Mehta, I am associate professor in the department of chemistry, Swami Shradhan College, University of Delhi. Today topic is, today lecture topic is in the field of chemistry that is organic chemistry and the topic is Grignard reagent and synthetic strategies. Now, Grignard reagent is a organometallic compound and this reagent uh, normally referred as Rx plus Mg and R, Rmgx, where X is an uh, halogen, maybe chlorine, bromine, iodine or R is an organic group, normally it is alkyl or aryl. Now, the Grignard reagent basically, it is discovered by Victor Grignard at University of Lyon, France in 1900. Importance of this, his contribution into synthetic chemistry has recognized a very early and for his discovery, Grignard was awarded Nobel Prize in 1912. Next. Now, the preparation of Grignard reagent. Now, this we will discuss in detail. Grignard reagent is prepared by reacting with haloalkane or aryl halide with magnesium in dry ether and there is a formation of Grignard reagent RMGX. This is normally referred as Grignard reagent and they are alkyl magnesium halide and aryl magnesium halide. If X is chlorine, bromine or iodine, then alkyl magnesium halide will be termed as alkyl magnesium chloride, bro, bromide or iodide accordingly. Now, in Grignard, in Grignard re, reagent, magnesium is basically inserted between uh, alkyl group and the halogen. This is a oxidative insertion of metal, which results in the formation of Grignard reagent. Preparation of Grignard reagent involves oxidative insertion of metal carbon and halogen bond and there is a change of oxygen state of metal. Now, this uh, the reaction of magnesium metal with haloalkane to form alkyl magnesium halide that is Grignard reagent involves a change in oxidation state of magnesium from magnesium 0 to magnesium 2. This means met the metal is oxidized and haloalkane is reduced in turn. Now, Grignard reagent, the key aspect of Grignard reagent is that electrophilic carbon gets transformed to the nucleophilic carbon. As we are seeing on the screen, carbon behaves as an electrophile center, electrophilic center as it is attached to electronegative atom that is halogen. Now, it carries the delta positive charge. So, that but when the magnesium is inserted between, this becomes the negatively charged. So, it has changed to the nucleophilic carbon and that is metal is electro electropositive. So, it basically push the electrons of the bond towards carbon making it uh, nucleophilic carbon. Now, role of solvent, this uh, Grignard reagent is prepared in the sol in ether, e various ethers. Now, the say simple example is diethyl ether. Ether is a very suitable solvent because it results in the formation of etherates and it becomes, it solvates the Grignard reagent and it remains in the solution form and reactions are carried out in the similar condition Grignard reagent plus ether. Now, the mechanism of Grignard reagent involves the radical intermediate. Grignard formation does not involve any radical chain mechanism. Its mechanism involved where the Rx bond is homolytically broken and it reacts with the magnesium. Magnesium basically uh, imparts one, uh, one electron to the X that is halogen which, turns, which gets eliminated in the form of X and then R becomes the R radical and then there is a further there is a formation of uh, radical cation of magnesium. Then this the whole X negative and uh, uh, radical cation reacts with the R radical and results in the formation of Grignard reagent. Now, the re Grignard reagent has a complex structure. It basically it has a it is basically the moment Grignard reagent is formed, it, it does not have any, uh, uh, it is as a complex symmetry. It is R 2 R M G X resulting in equilibrium with R 2 M G plus M G X 2 as revealed from the structure A. It is equivalent to the R M G X and other structure B is R 2 M G. Now, for explaining the reaction, structure R M G X is used and normally it is reported in literature that most of the time structure is RMGX that is the structure A. Uh, other ethers which ethers variety of ethers are used in the preparation of Grignard reagent 
they are diethyl ether which is referred as E2O which will be referred as e, ETO2 as the abbreviation then dimethoxyethane DME tetrahydrofuran THF and 1,4 dioxane that is simply dioxane all ethers are suitable for the preparation of granular reagent. Formation of aryl reagent it is similar to the preparation of alkyl uh, granular reagent alkyl magnesium halides. So, in say in case of bromobenzene when it is reacted with magnesium it results in the formation of aryl magnesium bromide. The reactivity order of aryl halides are aryl iodide is greater than aryl bromide is greater than aryl chloride. So, it is a this is a decreasing order basically the this all depends on the nature of halide since the reactivity of chlorine chlorine binds more firmly to carbon and that is why its reactivity is very poor. Now, formation of aryl granular reagent formation of granular reagent depends on the nature of halogen it is an example where the chlorobromobenzene that is metachloro as the example is taken metachlorobromobenzene is taken here if you treat it with the granular uh, with magnesium in presence of ether the net result will be bromine it will be inserted between CBR and result in the formation of uh, this type of granular reagent. Now, for others because the insertion of magnesium between Cl and carbon bond in the aromatic system is difficult. So, it would not result in the formation of this type of product which is the bromine and chlorine uh, it is inserted between both the carbons or otherwise between chlorine and magnesium chlorine and carbon and magnesium. So, these products will not be obtained exclusively there will be, there will be formation of uh, magnesium alkyl magnesium bromide with have, which is having chlorine. So, this also results in the selectivity of the reaction of magnesium and preparation of granular reagent for different type of reaction. Now, granular reagent is a versatile tool in organic synthesis, synthesis of hydrocarbons, alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acid, thiols, thioethers, alkane, nitrile, amines and organomaldehyde compound etcetera can easily be synthesized in a quantitative yield to by the by using Grignard reagent. Now, synthesis of hydrocarbon by the reaction of active hydrogen containing compounds, active hydrogen containing compounds are those which where hydrogen is attached to electronegative atom like oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur reactions are the electrophilic substitution reaction. The electrophilic part of the granular reagent is replaced by electrophile H. The electrophile H, H plus comes from the active hydrogen containing compound like water, alcohol, amines, thiols, carboxylic acid. Now, this reaction is these reactions are explained in this chart in slide synthesis of hydrocarbon by reaction with active hydrogen containing compound. Here, if you see carefully that H positive is electrophile, where all these species water, then al alcohol, amines, secondary amines, thiols, and even the carboxylic acid, they all have the active hydrogen, where hydrogen is replaced very easily in the form of electrophile. All these reactions will result in the formation of haloalkane, same haloalkane with the if the Grignard agent is same, sorry, alkane all these uh, all these products will result in the formation of same uh, alkane and corresponding substituted product. Now, this slide basically indicates that why while preparing the Grignard reagent it should be under anhydrous condition that is dehydration. In the first slide we have seen that this Grignard reaction, reaction is done in presence of dry ether. So, that is the reason that when if the moisture is present, Grignard reagent will be immediately converted into corresponding alkane. So, Grignard will not Grignard reagent will not result. So, it has to be under dry condition or the anhydrous condition. Moving further, this Grignard reagent, this reaction provides an excellent route for the preparation of deuterated isomeric uh, compounds. It is an example formation of deuterated isomeric or any deuterated compounds. So, this is an example where four isomeric uh, methyl butenes are treated uh, with corresponding 
four methyl four bromomethyl isobaric methyl butanes are treated with D2O via Grignard reagent. Four products are obtained, but if it is treated with water, only one product is obtained. This is because the deuterated is not an hydrogen, so it will result in the different product every time. Next is synthesis of alcohol. For synthesizing alcohol, Grignard reagent is a versatile tool in the organic synthesis. Uh, RMGX or treatment with the carbonyl compound, where R may be aryl or alkyl. The carbonyl compound may have aryl alkyl in combination and even the H. So, in dry ether, which I have already explained earlier, why it has to be under anhydrous condition. In presence of ether, it results in the formation of Grignard reagent and which and subjected to hydrolysis and it results in the formation of alcohol, where R, R1, R2 may be different substituent, where the R is the methyl, minimum methyl and further and R H or R 2 may be H alkyl or aryl depending on the reaction product we want. Now, the synthesis of primary alcohol. So, this primary alcohol can be prepared only with formaldehyde. Now, for example, if we treat ethyl magnesium bromide with formaldehyde, here the it will result in the formation of Grignard reagent and this in this delta this nucleophilic attack on this carbonyl carbon will take place and then on work of the reaction it will result in the formation of propane propane one all now in this reaction it is very clear that methanol or the formaldehyde uh, results in the addition of one carbon that is here in, that is the uh, one propane one all but you can alter the alkyl chain by adding uh, instead of ethyl, if you take propyl, there will be formation of butane one all. So, that way methanol or the formaldehyde will uh, result only in the addition of one carbon and this final result will be of primary alcohol. Now, in the, for the synthesis of secondary alcohol, other than formaldehyde, all aldehydes results in the formation of secondary alcohol. This, for example, ethyl magnesium bromide on reaction with the ethanol or acetaldehyde in, in presence of dry ether results in the formation of Grignard reagent and on work of the reaction that is on hydrolysis, this will result in the formation of secondary alcohol. Here, if you notice, this methyl has come from uh, aldehyde and this ethyl is a part of Grignard reagent. Now, suppose you want to prepare any other secondary alcohol, then you have to alter either the uh, aldehyde or ethyl magnesium bromide or both that depends what desirable product, what desirable product you are looking for. Say you if, if you react with the propanol, in that case this will give uh, this CH instead of CH3 we will have CH2 CH3 that is ethyl, then the reaction will be uh, that pentane 2 pentane 3 all. Now, next is synthesis of secondary aromatic alcohol on reaction with the benzaldehyde. Say ethyl magnesium bromide will result in the formation of Grignard reagent followed by hydrolysis. This will give the corresponding uh, secondary aromatic alcohol. In this case, the ethyl part can be changed to the larger alkyl parts. Say maybe you can take any alkyl, propyl, butyl, etcetera. So, corresponding aromatic secondary alcohol will be obtained. So, this finds a excellent synthetic route for the preparation of secondary alcohol and maybe it is aromatic or aliphatic and with methanol only primary alcohols are obtained, but you can increase the length of the carbon chain via the Grignard reagent. Now, the next slide is the formation of tertiary alcohols. In tertiary alcohols, ketone is taken. This is an example where the reaction of Grignard reagent has been carried out uh, with acetone that is propane 2 on which has two methyl group and the here the ethyl group. The on similar reaction condition where the uh, ether dry ether is taken and it results in the formation of uh, Grignard reagent and which on workup it results in the formation of uh, tertiary alcohol. Now, here if you take the different alkyl groups in ketone, it will result the different uh, 
tertiary alcohol and as per your requirement which uh, which product you want to build up accordingly you can manipulate the ethyl uh, grignard reagent as well as the ketone but here one thing is one thing has to be noticed like in previous slides you have seen that the workup is carried out in presence of acid this acid hydrolysis of this reaction and but in in case of tertiary alcohol we we have used not as we have not used acid but this hydrolysis has taken place in the presence of ammonium chloride the reason is that the this again the following slide the preparation of primary and secondary alcohol hydrolysis is carried out in acidic medium in case of tertiary alcohol the acid is not used in it is in, ammonium chloride is used the very simple reason in presence of acid tertiary alcohol goes under beta elimination reaction and it where the elimination of water takes place and it will result in the formation of corresponding alkene as per the sets of elimination say if you have taken the different alkyl groups in the uh, in the starting material uh, like this so that sets of elimination will happen but in this case it is the only one product is possible so the conveniently with beta elimination we get the alkene at the part of between ethyl and the central carbon so there's a beta elimination so use of acid hydrolysis is avoided in case of tertiary alcohol it is the ammonium chloride which is used it's the biggest precaution one has to take now next is synthesis of tertiary aromatic alcohol in this case grignard reagent is reacted reacted with acid uh, sorry benzophenone so in case of benzophenone it will result in the formation of grignard reagent which on hydrolysis will result in the formation of tertiary aromatic alcohol where one part is alkyl and other two are aromatic rings or the benzene ring in this case now the different strategies can be planned for any of the desirable product we want it's not rigidity that which grignard reagent or which part will be uh, carbonyl in this case this example on the top it there are three strategies which can be employed on this one is that you take ethyl magnesium bromide followed by reaction with the uh, benzyl uh, this uh, meth uh, estophenone this will result in the formation of this product tertiary alcohol because this it this ethyl here it is ethyl and methyl and it is methyl but if you wish you can start with the methyl bromide and the corresponding ethyl benz ethyl benzophenone now this ethyl will be it become this this part in the final product and this methyl will be now this as it is shown in the b b now if you take uh, you can have the other strategy where you can have the two butanone where the aldehyde sorry carbonyl part is the aliphatic carbonyl ketone is a, uh, instead of aromatic we have the aliphatic ketone this one reaction with the aryl magnesium bromide or here the benzene magnesium bromide will result the same product so for synthesizing this product we can plan the reaction in three ways similarly for other products which i have discussed earlier you can plan the reaction depending on the which kit ketone you want what are the desirable product at which uh, grignard reagent you want to use so this provides the excellent synthetic strategy for synthesizing different products by taking appropriate aldehyde aldehyde or ketone and appropriate accordingly you can manipulate the grignard reagent now another important aspect is synthesis of alcohol using epoxides now epoxides provides the two carbon atom system which is attached to the grignard reagent and this reaction is used to prepare with the with epoxides with unsubstituted epoxide it results in the formation of primary alcohol here in the final product you are seeing that this reaction is grignard reagent on reaction with epo eth ethylene oxide followed by reaction with dry ether and grignard reagent followed by hydrolysis this will result in the formation of 2 plus 2 carbon system here we have taken that is butane one all so in this case you can alter the grignard reagent by taking another alkyl group in the grignard reagent so this will be altered but the 
ethylene oxide will provide only two carbon system. So, this these carbon plus these two carbon will result in the final product. That way you can plan the synthetic strategy for synthesizing different primary alcohol, but not from ethylene oxide the length will depend carbon chain length will depend on the Grignard reagent. Now, next is reaction with the substituted epoxide here the product will be in case of the one substitution is there product will be a secondary alcohol here the ethyl magnesium bromide as an example if we take it it will result with this uh, it will reaction will take place at the least substituted or less hindered carbon this a nucleophile attack will take here and the product formed will result in the formation of secondary alcohol. Here this methyl group which is on the epoxide ring will uh, is this one this methyl group is there. So, you can alter the carbon chain length these are two carbons from the uh, uh, oxide epoxide ring and one carbon is the substituted one. So, accordingly you can manipulate by uh, in, in increasing the carbon chain length here. So, that you can in increase the carbon chain here or with the Grignard reagent that depends on what product you want, but the reaction will take place at the least hindered site to give secondary alcohol. Now, next is the tertiary alcohol here the epoxide which is taken is di substituted at this here the in, exa in this example there are two methyl attached and again this two carbon from the epoxide this carbon and the, this central carbon where OH is attached and these two methyl groups, of, groups are this one and we have the ethyl linkage from the Grignard reagent. So, in all we have 2 plus 2 system and substitution will depend on the uh, these alkyl groups which are attached. So, that way you can plan the synthetic strategy which type of alcohol you are looking tertiary alcohol you are looking for and accordingly you can take the corresponding substituted epoxide. Now, the next is synthesis of alcohol using oxacyclobutane. Now, this this reaction is taking place where the oxacyclobutane is a four membered ring system and here these three carbon atoms which you are seeing and this oxygen the ring opening takes place and the Grignard reagent the carbon of from the Grignard reagent will react on the carbon ring after ring opening we get Grignard reagent which constitute the three carbon from the uh, cyclobutane ring part and two carbon from the Grignard reagent total we get the 5. So, this provides a very good synthetic strategy where you can have 3 carbon at one go from the oxycyclobutane and 2 carbons from the Grignard reagent. So, in this strategy the 3 carbons are provided. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 carbon the primary alcohol contains the 5 carbon. So, if you want to make hexane 1 all. So, this Grignard reagent will be uh, propyl magnesium bromide. So, plus 3 carbon from this is oxocyclobutane. So, that way you can plan this strategy by taking appropriate uh, Grignard reagent plus taking care of 3 carbon which will be available from oxocyclobutane. So, this forms a excellent synthetic strategy for the preparation of uh, primary alcohol from the corresponding Grignard reagent plus 3 carbon atom system. Now, next is synthesis of secondary alcohol using format esters. Now, format esters gives the uh, secondary alcohol not the primary uh, not an aldehyde. So, the reaction is reaction is as follows you can have you you can have the ethyl magnesium bromide followed by on reaction with ethyl format the nucleophile addition takes place uh, nucleophile attack takes place on this carbon and then it results in the formation of Grignard reagent and it will result in the formation of ketone because the ethoxy group is a very good leaving group and this will form the double bond here and this group will cleaved from this and but since it is an alcohol so it is an aldehyde but earlier we have seen in the reaction that aldehyde on reaction with Grignard reagent results in the formation of tertiary alcohol other than formaldehyde. So, this reaction proceeds further and end, end product is 
not an aldehyde, but end product is a secondary alcohol. So, with ethyl format, secondary alcohol is formed overall in the reaction, two molecules of Grignard reagent is consumed stepwise. This reaction takes place in situ within the reaction medium, reaction does not stop here, it moves further. And similarly, in case of tertiary alcohol using ester other than format esters. So, they, they result in the formation of ketone as an intermediate step followed by attack of another Grignard reagent. So, at the end we get a ketone, sorry we get tertiary alcohol instead of reaction stopping at this ketone. So, and again this is a leaving group, ethoxy group, but the two carbon atom system is here from the, it, these are the, this is the ethyl format. So, this comes from, uh, this ethyl group comes from here. So, accordingly we can manipulate this reaction by taking uh, ester other, other than format ester which end product will be in every case will be a tertiary alcohol, but this will consume two molecules of Grignard reagent instead of one because the reaction will further proceed as and as and when ketone is formed. So, the synthesis of secondary alcohol from acid chlorides. Acid chlorides results in the formation of again the tertiary alcohol. This reaction is parallel to what you we have and with the what we have studied in the back at the reaction with the ethyl format or any alkyl format. Now, this reaction gives the similar result because in the reaction as the intermediate ketone is formed which further reacts with the second molecule of Grignard reagent, the end product is your tertiary alcohol. Now, with this uh, we will proceed further and, and there is a to sum of these reactions. I can say that these reaction constitute the important part where you have to bit vigilant how many carbon atoms you want at the zero at, at what position. Accordingly, you have to take the starting materials be it a Grignard reagent or alcohol or to uh, epox epoxide or aldehyde or formate which product you want that largely depends on the your synthetic strategy. So, this we will take up next. So, this is the synthesis of aldehyde from Grignard reagent and with HCN. So, with this hydro HCN the end product is aldehyde where the imine is imines are formed and this amine with the elimination of ammonia on hydrolysis it results in the formation of aldehyde. But in case of estonitrile the end product is ketone here the estonitrile reacts with this Grignard reagent and results in the formation of imine and then on uh, this NH3 is eliminated from the product and end product is here acetone, but here you can increase the carbon chain and instead of propane 2 on or acetone, you can have number of ketones by altering the alkyl chain in nitrile with nitrile or uh, Grignard reagent and this provides an excellent route for the synthesis of, for the synthesis of ketones. And next is synthesis of carboxylic acid from Grignard reagent and carbon dioxide. Now, this carbon dioxide provides the one carbon atom system in the at the end. So, if you have methyl magnesium chloride and treating with carbon dioxide in case of in the presence of dry ether with Grignard reagent formed and the, the carbon dioxide carbon which is slightly positively charged this carbon and attacks to the carbon and end product is the acid. Here, to the Grignard reagent one carbon is added to give the final product. If you take ethyl magnesium bromide with the carbon dioxide, the uh, corresponding acid obtained will be propanoic acid and in case similarly aryl magnesium iodide on reaction with the carbon dioxide in presence of dry ether which results in the formation of corresponding Grignard reagent followed by hydrolysis, it results in the formation of aromatic carboxylic acid. It is an excellent route for the preparation of acid compounds and but at the final in the final product one carbon is added, one additional carbon is added 
and that comes from the carbon dioxide. Accordingly, you can plan the which acid you want, which acid sensor, which acid you are looking for. Accordingly, you, you can manipulate the Grignard reject, but carbon dioxide provides the only one carbon. And now, these are the key references of the books which are there. The first book is Mehta, Bupender and Manju Mehta and I am the author of that book. Thank you very much.